Basil's Restaurant was part of our family and part of the Narragansett community for over 30 years. Kathy and Vasilios Caracas put their blood, sweat and tears into the restaurant and the customers certainly noticed. A place known for its intimate decor, attentive service, extensive wine list and savory classic dishes. Basil's recently shut down its doors, but not without serving up a lifetime of memories. Our last night at Basil. Uh, After 31 successful years in business, it's the last night at Basil's. And it's only fitting a restaurant built around family is gathered for one last meal. And with the incredible outpouring of support since Kathy and Vasilios announced the restaurant closing, we're lucky we got a table. Overwhelming how uh, people respond to a closing and uh, really make it hard for us to to quit. Basil's opened Mother's Day weekend 1984. Kathy and Vasilios taking their dining expertise from Vail, Colorado to Narragansett, Rhode Island, where many didn't think a fine dining French restaurant was a right fit. Three decades later, and it's hard to imagine Narragansett without Basil's. I don't think we thought that far. We just were thinking that we knew how to do this job well, and we would start a restaurant in Narragansett and see where it brought us. From the beginning, Basil's differentiated itself from other restaurants with its attention to detail and consistency. Yeah, why? He doesn't want? He would like soul for us. He can't. Vasily was in the kitchen. I was out front. I got to know the customers. He got to cook the consistent meal every time they came in. So I would pay attention to every detail in the dining room and to the tables and to the customers and the service, etc. Half and Nancy was unbelievable, perfect for a restaurant like ours. Um, where everything has to be perfect, everything has to be the salt and peppers that have to be full. This table has no salt and pepper. Not very long after opening, Basil's was thriving. Regular customers enjoyed the intimacy and family atmosphere. Their every drink remembered. Their every dish cooked to their liking. Yeah, I feel like I'm, you walk them into your house because we know everybody by name. We know everybody where they're drinking or they're eating. The employees, uh, the way stuff, they know the customers. The customers know the employees. And everyone knew Brett Mayette, who started as a waiter at Basil's in January of 1985, when pushing my bassinet was a job requirement in between taking dinner orders. You, Yanni, were four weeks old in the bassinets on the uh, counter. Uh, we did six people, two party, three parties of two. And I got trained in one night and started working by myself the next night. Brett, Brett here. <laughs> Almost 30 years later, and Brett remained a staple in the dining room, requested as part of the dining experience, as much as the famed Duck LaRange or Escargot. For many on the staff, like Lauren Wells, who spent 17 years at Basil's, the restaurant was never really a place of work. You're going to miss the most yeah. about Basil's. Coming to work and having it be like coming home. And for my brother Costa and me, Basil's was home many nights. Basically like a second home for all of us really. When we were young, we used to sleep in the, uh, with all the laundry. And it was fun when the kids got older and we could bring them, Katie. After years of representing Basil's on our youth baseball and soccer teams, we both eventually made it into the kitchen. Who's that good looking guy? This is one of my workers. Who's a better worker, Costa or me? Uh, you want the truth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> For more than 25 years, Vasilio stood in the hot kitchen and cooked every single meal served at Basil's. In the 80s, um, he was in the kitchen by himself with a couple of dishwashers and doing 90, 95, 100 covers. Most organized chef I've ever seen in my life. Um, in his heyday, he was a beast. It wasn't until recently that Vasilio's finally trusted someone else to take over his baby. That was a huge turning point that someone trusted me that much to take care of his baby, literally. I was the ultimate babysitter. See, it wasn't just the cooking and in Kathy's case, the service. It was the other parts of owning the business that were essential. Answering the phone, doing bookkeeping, and taking deliveries. Okay. Yeah. Okay, call me because I have a order to place sooner. Yeah, yeah, All right. No All right. Okay, thanks. Sir. Thanks for bringing the wine. Bye, I've never seen a man as dedicated to his customers as Vasilio Caracas, and I will go to my grave with that. It's unbelievable.
When you wear a lot of hats in a restaurant, perhaps the best part of the night for Vasilios was when the cooking stopped and he could join his beloved customers in the dining room. Uh, I'm going to miss uh, uh, my customers because uh, we have a very loyal customers that be coming here for day one and uh, it's going to be hard um, and not be able to see them. Uh, of course, those customers will start to be first customers and then we'll become friends. You like knowing you can walk in the kitchen and he's uh, cooking the meal for you? Oh, I go in and drive him crazy. <laughs> he has to kick me out of there. Basil's wine list was top notch, winning the Wine Spectator Award countless years and the food unparalleled, a culinary experience you'll never forget. But if you ask five people their favorite dish, you may get five different answers. Rack of lamb. I always like the crab. The duck, of course. Schnitzel's is second. And you got all those meals on birthdays, anniversaries, graduations. It's where you went for special occasions. And for us, that was the last night at Basil's. We probably took it for granted um, at times. And it was always nice to kind of have a second home here that we could come to and share laughs and Kind of, you know, there was always an extended family. So what now for Chef Vasilios? Well, he's never had a weekend off, so maybe he can begin filling the void with his grandchildren, telling them about the best restaurant in Rhode Island history. She's sleepy right now, and I feel she's going to miss a lot of good, good meals from here.